What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Roll 88, coming at you live and in the flesh and in the Holy Spirit. I hope everyone's having a great, wonderful, blessed, uh, outstanding, incredible day today. Um, I just wanted to say, I guess, God provides the growth. Um, I got a little garden going. Um, and I'm just expecting things to get worse and worse from here. Um, Notre Dame fire and everything else. and let me just give you guys like a pro tip the more that you sin and the more that you go against God in these last moments the faster the bad things are going to happen so yeah um, I'm looking to get a, a puppy actually so my next vlog which will probably be tomorrow or sometime this week You'll probably see a little puppy run around here with me, which is going to be awesome because I'm, uh, you know, I'm assessing my situation. I'm counting the cost as Jesus tells us to do, you know, and um, right now the cost is, oh, this is a great shirt to 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Uh, there's three things he gave us, but the greatest is love, faith, hope, and love, right? People don't have very strong faith right now that's why we need these two witnesses to come bolster our faith whoever they might be I don't know <laughs> anyways um, you know you just have to be humble enough to walk it out with Jesus which his yoke is easy it's a lot lighter than Satan's and uh, hopefully when the two witnesses go down people's faith will be strengthened after they do all the gift buying that the Bible talks about, it pretty much is like Christmas comes early when the two witnesses die, which is really sad because that just shows how spiritually dead the world is. Um, but anyways, yeah, puppy dog, probably this week. So I'll be looking for that. Um, I kind of have been a little sick, taking too many of these little excedrin migraines I guess so that's kind of my daily vlog for today I guess I don't know getting some money out of the bank since it's the apocalypse and I could do things like that so it's my money and I want it now Jenny G Wentworth right yeah that's stupid but I was looking because I was trying to see like do, should I be getting a passport or like sh what should I be doing on the bigger scale but then I'm like I think Jesus was just kind of like hey slow down buddy um, and I did want it to change something well I wanted to uh, say um, you know I just needed to admonish and rebuke the the Pope uh, the poopy Pope like I like to call him um, they practice their necromancy or whatever they're uh, dead bodies uh, they worship dead bodies basically and relics and everything else it's ungodly right um, so anyways yeah there's some spiritual goodness that's coming out of this uh, eventually right but we might have to do battle with locust scorpions first who knows um, actually we'll get changed in the twinkling of an eye but, um, see, I don't like going around giving people, like, false hope. Uh, we can strengthen each other knowing that Jesus is coming down. But nobody knows when, so stop acting like you know when. You know, people are like, oh, don't be date-setting. No, just get this really, you know, tense feeling in the air, like he's coming back today. You know how much stress that puts on a person to say, oh, Jesus Christ could come back today? That puts a lot of stress on a person, so I would recommend not doing it, just as a common courtesy. I mean, repent, go and sin no more, but stop telling people, like, Jesus is coming back today, because we don't know when. He's coming back. Uh, and it's a lot of stress, and we, we're not built for that much stress day after day. So, just write it out, okay? If anything, if you want to set dates, I got a date for you. May 22nd, 2025, The Abomination of Desolation. Go back to some of my other videos. You'll see 
Then the book of Daniel, the ram beats the goat, and then about 3,600 days later, abomination of desolation, May 22nd, 2025. And I'll be truly surprised if, uh, if nothing happens on that date. And I'll be even more surprised if Jesus comes back before then. And I'll be even more surprised if, uh, if I was wrong, basically. Because that would mean the book of Daniel is wrong. And the Bible's not wrong, it's the truth. And But yeah, that would also have to indicate that the ram and the goat, the goat being Tom Brady, you know, and that whole uh, prophecy filling out. Uh, now, I know that there's like some little subgroups that look to the Super Bowl for prophecy and stuff, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But, um,. Is that what we should do? I don't know. You know, the thing is, I've been in the mil I was in the military for five years, so my spiritual eyes are kind of foggy at best. You know, but I'm starting to see things more clear. So I'll just let you guys know as far as what I can see, and I'm going to be distributing these things some more. Of course, the spooky ones I showed you last time, and um, yeah. I bind and rebuke all the demons and principalities of lust, murder, suicide, um, you know, rape, greed, uh, power, war. I bind and rebuke all those demons in the holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The only name that can uh, bring peace, true peace. Not the Pope. The Pope, consider yourself admonished. You need to repent. Um, I know that he's probably going to end up in the lake of fire living and that's like the worst fate for any person and so in, in my heart I do have a lot of sympathy for those who are going to die or those who are going to hell because that's not God's will for um, anyone really and yet you know prophecy has to play out and these people can't escape their fates which is just fascinating to me because it's like you have people like me that are telling you what's going to happen and people like them that are just living it out. Do you see the difference there? It's fascinating to me. Okay? How God works. Just fascinating. It's like we're living in the same planet. And I know what's going on and they don't. How is that possible? God is amazing. It, he truly is. So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Or don't. I love you all very much. Bye.